Hey everyone, I'm Yoshi Momo, and welcome to episode 29 of my Minecraft series. So in this episode, um, I'm here with Wizard, which, yeah, it's a lot of fun having him here now. So, since you're here, I, we fi or I figured, you need a home, so I want to start my next big project that we're going to start today, and then finish in the next episode for episode 30, which every 10 episodes I usually do like a special episode so far. I might start stop doing that, but um, for episode 30, I want to finish it. So we're going to make you a giant, like, medieval wizard's tower, which we've already kind of planned this, and it's going to be amazing. So we're um, next to the volcano behind the meteor. We're going to build it up on that platform, and we flattened it out a bit, and it, uh, that hanging piece was actually natural. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're just going to show you what we're going to do it first. Then we're going to build a, um, make our own, like, really cool mine in this episode. With a special door they'll have to do off camera because the redstone's way too complex. It's by M Mumbo Jumbo because he's like the redstone god. And, um, yeah, but it'll be a lot of fun. So we'll do the mine, we'll get a bunch of stone, andesite, andesite blocks, smooth stone, all that stuff. And then we can, um, we had to put a bunch of torches since there's so much snow. But this is what we're going to do it. And it's just going to be overlooking the world. It's going to be so cool. And, um, in case you guys don't know, I don't really have an official area where I do my enchanting and brewing. So this is where I'm going to do it also. But it's going to be a ton of fun, and, um, sorry, I'm talking a ton. What was I talking about before? I was talking, wait, what is that on the volcano? Can you see that? Wait, can you see that on the volcano? There's that weird, like, white bit on it. Oh, it's snow. That's what that is. Okay. But, um, yeah, we're going to dig a huge mine, um, over there in the world. It's going to have a cool door, so we can get all the stone to build the tower. So, um, let's get started on that. Wizard, let's go. So, um, I believe I got him a pickaxe. Do you have a you have a pickaxe, right? Good. Okay, awesome. I got a diamond pickaxe. Should have it like in breaking three. And I'm gonna make an official path, and pro probably in the next episode or this episode. And then I'll start the tower. I'll do the mine, and then the next episode we'll finish the tower. And then maybe um, fire will be back, and then we can do like some bridge brawl or something. Yeah, I really need a path to get across the water, like some kind of stepping stone kind of thing for us. Because, I mean, I can't... We have this, but you have to go, like, all the way around. And the parkour is not the easiest for everyone. That's my point. <laughs> but, so, eventually, I will make the cave look a lot better. For now, I'm just making it, like, the rough draft of it. And I think in episode, like, 31 or so, I'll probably make, then, that mining system look really fancy and nice. And add some cool aesthetic things. But, uh, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, and I upgraded the beacon, in case you guys didn't know. I upgraded it just a little bit instead of um, being a 3x3 three three area. It's now a 5x5 five five area, so the swiftness um, reaches a much further area. So I think it's like, yeah, over here. So, yeah, we're going to do it about right here is where we're going to start the cave. Does it look like it's bot? Okay, good. So, I think the 3. Oh, yeah, the shovel's way too overpowered. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. And I'm just gonna start the little pattern now. So, I'm doing kind of like a caution symbol. Whoa! All that- Whoa! Hang on! Did you see that? All that grass just like all grew at once. So I'm getting really worked up about that, but... For some reason- that, that didn't used to happen in Minecraft. It used to take forever for grass to grow, and it literally all just grew instantly. Um, I'm gonna expand this a little more. I don't know if I like the circular design or not. If the square one's bad, then we'll change it back to the circular design. Yeah, I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stick with the circular. Then I'll just switch these blocks up right here, like I did before. Okay, good. Now it's all like mixed up and stuff. You okay? Yeah, okay, good. So I don't know exactly how, how deep I'm going to make this, but... For now I got some ladders. Oh, sorry. 
I mean to hit you. So 30 lives will probably go about 30 deep. That's gonna be the front. Okay. And we'll make it all look fancy later. So um, I think we'll I'll cut back once I have the main area done and or the main tunnel done, and then we'll start the next areas. Okay, everyone. So we dug most of the hole, so it goes down about. 30 blocks I think from that yellow piece so right now we're just kind of scooting down the ladder like that trick to get down but I have um six slime blocks so I'm actually just going to make a little bounce pad right here that we can land on and then yeah so it won't it'll absorb the blow when we fall just don't crouch when you fall on it because that will stop the fall and kill you and then I'm just going to cover with gray carpet so we could still I know we can't actually walk over it as fast but it will slow us down oh yep and then you kind of got to control it, but it's more fun. And it'll be faster. Well, if you fall and then crouch after, well, not while you're falling, but after the after you bounce, you crouch, it stops you. So I'm just gonna try. Just do not land on the. Actually, no, we can land on the ladder block because it won't stop us. So I bounce once. And I think if I just like, yeah, if I, if I hold A, then it stops me. So anyway, we're gonna do a third person time lapse, and we're going 16 tall, and it's 25 across, I believe, or 26. No, 25. And we're just going to start digging that way. Oh, sorry about that. Did not mean to hit you. We're just going to start digging that way and down. And we're just going to get a giant tunnel to get all the resources. So see that. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I'm in the um, underground black market. I'd like to show you, which I have all the stone in my inventory to build the wizard tower. I'd like to show you something I added, though, over here in this area. I added another portal, and it's going to make so everything so much faster. I actually added two nether portals. So if I come out now, it, um, well, it actually, it's... A little bit glitched. It's supposed to take me out of this nether portal from the black market, and then this one goes to the truck, and then I added the second one, or, or yeah, over here. If you go on this path and go through this one, this one takes you to the wizard tower. And I think wizard might be up there. I'm not sure. Which the wizard tower is not done yet. So yeah, there he is. So in I was gonna do four doorways here, but instead I decided to make one of the doorways just the nether portal. But uh, we're gonna start building. So you know how to do the textures, right? Where you hold right bumper. Okay, so basically, if you didn't know how to do this, we picked the texture code, which is four stone bricks, one stone, two andesite, and two polished andesite, and now we just hold right bumper, and we cycle, we're going six blocks up, by the way, and we cycle through, and then we just start building, and then it automatically randomizes them. Remember to leave those um, holes open, the three by three holes on each side. I think thing about that, we can still use, like, our pickaxes while we're, um, circulating through it, but, yeah. Yeah, he has that. Okay. Make a couple stairs. Oh, I need a crafting tool. So some parts of this we're going to have to cut to look back at our, um, in our 3D, or in our creative world of how we did this. Not 3D world. Because, um, it's a very complicated design. So we're probably going to have to go back and look at it. So we'll cut every once in a while, but this should be a ton of fun. That's six tall, right? Three. Yeah, four, five, six. Good. Just be sure to keep randomizing it. And I'll, I'll help you finish this. Two, three. So this is three tall. Four tall. Five, six. So this is just the first layer. Keep kind of crossing. It's kind of small right now, but it's gonna get more complica complicated later. Uh, wizard, can you stay up there? Unless you already jumped down, you stay up there because I need you to block off the tops of these. Oh, he fell. No, he's good. These look very cool, though. We're probably gonna have to go back to the mine to get some more stuff because I'm already running out of andesite. He has some extra, I think, so if I run out, he can get to me. Yeah, just cap off all those.
Okay, so that's the first layer. And it looks really cool in here. So this room, leaving empty, and just gonna have that nether portal there. Which, yeah, it looks fine. Okay. And I'm just gonna, oh, I already have ladders, good. So I'm just gonna put a ladder here on the outside so we can climb up it. Oh, there's a wolf. I need to get a dog soon, thinking of that. So we're gonna add stairs in here later to make it um have more edges. But for now, we're just gonna build this. So remember, so you do um you get to the top of these, you go two up, and it's three across. So just like copy my example, I think it goes two up like that. We both designed this together in the creative world, and I think it looks really good. It's got um a couple of weird edges, and it looks almost like a really long pine cone in a way. How they have those spikes come going upwards at the side, and that's a really weird example, but that's just kind of what it looks like when it's finished. Oh, I did these wrong. So you go, um, sorry, you do, uh, I'll redo them the other way. So you go all the way across, then you do three, bigger. And everyone, in case you didn't know, I, um, I started doing a series of Minecraft story modes since I wanted to do a story mode game. And it's been going really well, and, um, it should be out now, I think, by the time you're seeing this video. So you should be able to check out episode one, and it was a lot of fun, so you should really check it out. I'm starting that series, and I'm actually recording this right after episode one and two. Oh, wait, he's... Oh, wait, I did... Yeah, you, yours is actually right. Yeah, he remembered this a lot better than I did. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo all those. It was three up, you're right. Then it was two. Then it was one, I think. Yeah, then we did those windows there. Sorry, I might need some help to rebuild it. I mean, it's because you remembered that so much better than I did. That one too, oh, I did one too high. And then, yeah, then we have a window in the center to look through. I actually forgot about that. Because we're putting, oh yeah, we're putting glowstone in it. That's what we're going to be doing. One, two, three. Then, yeah, I guess one, two. Oops, he fell. And that should be right, yeah. Thanks for fixing mine, I did that wrong. Okay, then, okay, so now what we do is we go, if you remember, wizard, we go one block in, on, actually, let me get these back. We're going to go one block in on each of the pieces. Oh, there's a ladder on the other side over there. There's a ladder on the outside, in case you need to use that. Putting dirt here as a placeholder. So we're going to go one in behind the spikes to make them stick out a little more. And I'm not sure how much that goes up, so we'll have to go back to the creative world to look at it. So we will cut, after we get like the first layer on, we're going to cut, and then we'll show the second layer, like we'll keep showing our progress, because this is going to go a little bit slow. But uh, yeah, actually, we'll do that right now. We'll just cut back once we've got a few layers on. We'll okay, when we're back, so we have the entrances here. We built those spikes to stick up. On each side, we add some glowstone in. And basically, the walls behind them go in one. And then we're going to build some spikes on the, the, on the curved bits on the sides. And then make it go in one. So it's just like little spikes sticking out. But it's going to look really cool. And uh, we've gone up two stories. We'll be back once we finish the next...
Okay, I'm up to the fourth layer, and it was getting ridiculously high up here. I had these little, um, kind of wall torches, and I think they look cool. And, um, I'm just finishing off these spikes, but this is, like, easily the tallest building in my world, even if, no, it's on the cliff. But, uh, so I'm just really finishing this up, and I don't know where Wizard went. Uh, he's probably just at the bottom of the tower working on something. But, yeah, I'm just building up this final layer, and then I can do the top. I'm gonna have to cut for the actual top piece of the tower, the peak of it. It is making out of wood, but it's just it's re a really complicated build, and I don't think I can do it on camera. So, yeah, I just gotta finish this up, and yeah. Then I'll just cut, and then that might be the end of the episode. We might do something else. And then next episode, I will actually um decorate the interior. Oh, oops. How okay that one, that put me down to one heart. I actually needed some more resources anyway, so that's actually a good thing I fell. Kinda. Make some more stone bricks. There we go. I have these little stairs and edges of it to make it easier to climb up, I guess. And I still need a couple more ladders. Okay. And this should be the the top platform is will be at this height. I just have to add some wood, and yeah, I think there's gonna be three store. There's gonna be three floors throughout the whole building. Now I just gotta get the polished end of sight. Is I'm gonna make the edge around it. Sorry, it's a little dark right now. You probably can't see the best. But it always light up as soon as I'm done making this ring of polished andesite. I thought it gave it like a little nice touch. It's not really noticeable, but I still think it makes it better. Just about enough. And I'm just gonna break these end blocks and I'll replace those. Which actually I can do that right now. Because I have some extra I can craft. Okay, the pickaxe, and I'll get some torches out just so you guys can see. Yes, I think I'm just going to take away these in interior blocks, and I'm going to replace this as wood as well. I'm using um, oak for the floors and dark oak for the topper. But I'll actually turn the rest of this into polished. Yeah, I just want to get that final edge in. Okay. And, yeah, I mean, that's the main piece of the tower done. It's got some glowstone on the floors and the top. And uh, then they'll be it. So I'm just going to finish the top in this episode, and I'll finish everything else on the other episodes. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And, okay, everyone, I'm back. And we finally finished the tower, and there it is. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, it's so much bigger than I thought it'd be. It looks so cool. We added the top onto it. Wizard helped a ton. Like, he did about half of it, and I did about half. And it's right there. It fits in so perfectly. We can actually... S no, I can't see the nether portal. So I'm still going to add more windows and stuff in the next episode, and I'm going to do more of the interior. Right now I'm going to use the nether portal I'm going to go over to, since I put a portal in one of the door frames. But you can see from here, like, all the textures, how the spikes overlap. And then there's the roof, and I add some more spikes on the top. Wait, did Wizard just fall off? Oh, okay, I just saw, I think he might have just fallen off. Oops. I think he should survive from that height, though. But I'm going to go over to that area, I'm going to go through the nether portal. So we only added the top deck of it, and then we added, oh, 
Looks like he doesn't like this thing either. He blocked out. He blocked it off. Um. Yeah. So we did the top deck and the roof, and then the whole uh, um interior is empty. And I'm gonna add a couple floors in the next episode, but in case you haven't seen it, well, no, I did show you it. I get the, this another portal, and I go out the other one. Oh hey, yeah, this took forever. Though. This took several hours to build. Not this, the Nether hub. In the next episode, I will fix this Nether hub. I will make it look nice and everything, and it's gonna look awesome. I love that feature. Then we just like walk in, and it acts as a door because you still jump through it and stuff. See, so it is up close, and the spikes. You know, you see how they overlap. Uh, the ladders there for now, since we don't have an official way up yet. We will make some though, and uh, it looks so cool from the interior. So yeah, let's just climb up. We have to, I think, break a block to get up to the top. But yeah. Yeah, we gotta do a little parkour to get up there. And then, there we go. So I have these little spikes, kind of, so you can stand up here and look out. But also, just gives you more of a railing kind of feel. But it does continue the spikes from down there. I'm gonna put some glowstone in these when I get some more. I'll just put one piece for now. Because this area needs some more lighting up. So I'll just do that. But um, yeah, I can really see like the whole world from up here. The sign I can barely see if I turn, but it looks so cool from up here. And the inside of that, it's all hollowed, everything. But there's so much more lands. Like I could see like the deserts and the acacia biomes, and I gotta expand to those later. But this one's so awesome. Do you like how the house is going so far? Because this is gonna be your home, and it's gonna be like my enchanting room. But it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it took us so long. But uh, anyway, so I'm going third person right now in case you wanna stand next to me. Um. So anyway, this is that's been the end of this episode. It's been an absolutely amazing episode. Uh, be sure to comment how you feel about the tower, if you like it, if you request any changes, anything at all, or if you are even gonna try to build one like it. Maybe I could do a tutorial of it someday. And uh, yeah, just um, I guess yeah, comment like I said. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell in order to see the next episode. And just um, please subscribe. Like it shows your support and everything, and it means a lot to me. And be sure to crush the like button. See you later, Bye.